Hello, Unbreaking here with a look at my full RC mod of the LEGO Technic Ferrari SF24 F1 car set number 4207. I gotta say, I'm quite proud of the work I've done here. My number one goal while motorizing it was to preserve that legendary two-speed transmission gearbox. And I'm very happy to say that, despite being motorized, the gearbox remains. First, let's start with the steering mechanism, which was by far the easiest aspect of this mod. There just used to be an axle here where the motor is, and the width between the Technic frame accommodates the powered up large motor perfectly. All you have to do is just swap the axle with this motor and you're good to go. For the driving portion, it took some out of the box thinking to properly attach these motors here. I removed the V6 engine and replaced it with a dual motor drive. The two motors drive the 16 tooth gear with their 20 tooth gear, so it's 20 to 16 here. Then this connects to the gearbox axle, which connects to the 12 and 16 tooth gears. Using the gearbox selector, you can engage into either the ratio of 12 over 20 or 16 over 16. Essentially, the gearbox provides you with either increased torque or increased speed. I'm currently running the motors at a constant slow speed, and as you can see, by switching the gearbox, the speed of the rear wheels changes. I'm very happy to have been able to keep the gearbox in this car, and during the motorization process, I was seriously considering just removing the gearbox and implementing a direct drive. If you like what I've done here, and you would like to see my full RC mods of all the upcoming LEGO Technic sets, as well as early early reviews of them, I promise they'll actually be early this time, then make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications. No pressure though no pressure. Originally, I was planning on using the small buoys hub, which would have fit inside the driver's seat placement perfectly. However, I have lost it, and resorted to using the official Technic hub, which sticks out due to its large size. It loosely sits inside the cabin, so you have very easy access to the battery. To accommodate this Technic hub, I also had to remove the steering wheel here. However, if you used buoys or maybe a combination of the two train hubs, you could easily just leave it there. I gotta say, I love the suspension of this car. Notice how the shock absorbers are mounted horizontally instead of vertically like in a typical Technic car. This is pushrod suspension and is just a beauty to look at. On top of that, this car even came with a gearbox. I mean, this is such improvement from the previous F1 cars, which were just basic empty shells on the inside, so I truly applaud the LEGO Technic designers of these F1 cars, and perhaps I'll talk more about it in my full review of this car. The car is tons of fun to drive around, and I made a simple control interface using the Powered Up app. I've got the two sliders for driving as well as steering, and I've also got two buttons here which are the steering adjustment values to correct any left or right turning tendencies. Think of it as trim for the steering. Just copy this exact code and you'll be good to go. I've actually used this exact same program way back in 2021, so it's a proven working program. I also have free instructions for how you can motorize this car yourself, and the link for them is in the description of this video. This is your Unbreak Me here, and I'll see you in the next one.